All right, God bless you. God bless you. This program is pre recorded. This program is pre recorded. Praise the Lord. All right. This is servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. Hallelujah. Glory. If you preach, anybody who preach, tithing and offering is still required by God today. Even though we are the new covenant, the second covenant, the new testament, anybody preach tithing and offering is still required today? Do not have faith. You do not have faith. For we walk by faith and not by sight. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. You don't have faith. If you preach time and office is required, you do not have faith. Let go directly to it. Romans chapter 10. And I believe it's going to be a short video. Romans chapter 10. And verse 5. Verse 4. Romans chapter 10 and verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it, everyone that believe it, everyone that believe it, everyone that have faith. Christ is the end of the law. But you say the law still required, the law is good. God, Christ didn't do away with the law. You don't believe. You don't have faith. Break five. For Moses is describing righteousness, which is of the law, that a man which doeth these things shall live by them. Do these things. What thing? Thing that are that were required by the law. What was required by the law? Well, I didn't mean to go here, Jesus. That's all right. Go to the ninth chapter. Have that bed. Um, Hebrew. Hebrew chapter nine. And verse one. For really the first covenant first all had also ordered the sis. Let me give that back up to, to verse thirteen of the eighth chapter. In that he said a new covenant he had made the first old. Now that which decayed and waxes old is ready to vanish away. Now we're chapter nine of Hebrew. Then bear the first covenant all had also ordered this over divine service. Service. What we call service, clapping your hands and patting your feet and singing it. Divine service in a worldly sanctuary. You know your sanctuary, really. You know it, right? But there was a tabernacle made the first. Where it was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, which is called sanctuary. And I'm the second veil of the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. Which had a golden censer, and the ark of the covenant, overlaid round about with gold, wherein was gold pot that had matter, and a rod and budded, and the tables of the covenant. And over it the cherubim, the glory, shattering mercy seat, of which we cannot speak particularly. Now, when these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service. Of God. 
He would, he would, he would do the work of God in the tabernacle. But into the second with the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the other people. He had to offer his seed. That blood came from animals. There was no other blood of Jesus Christ. This blood came from animals. The Holy Ghost signified that the way of holiness was not yet made manifest by the first tabernacle of yet statue. Which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did these service perfect and pertain to conscience, which stood only in meats, drinks, diamond washing, kind of ordinances imposed upon them until the time of reformation. But Christ being come a high priest of good things to come by the great and more perfect tabernacle, not way made with hands had to say, now this building, neither by blood of goats and calves, not by your offering and your tithe. Back down back to 10, wrong with 10. Now we see what the writing was of the law in verse 5 that Moses said that we should live by. Verse 6, but the writing which is the faith, which is the faith. Speaking on this wise, say nine that all who shall see into heaven to bring Christ down from above, or who shall see into the deep, there to bring Christ up again from the dead. But what said it, the word is not thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, the word of faith that we preach. Word of faith. You don't have no faith. Preaching tithing and offering and bringing tithing and offering. You don't have no faith. Oh, I didn't get Romans 10. You don't have faith. Go to Romans 3 and we're going to end. <clears throat> at 3 at 28, Romans. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. What were the deeds of the law? We read it in Hebrews 9. Remember your offerings and your tithes and offering blood for your sin. They come from the animal. And the preacher in the tabernacle, those were the deeds of the law. Praise God. Glory to God. Now you see. Hallelujah. You don't have no, you don't have faith. You preach it. Not on time at all. You preach, you got to keep Sabbath day. You got to be circumcised. You got to go to the priest. A world, a world of sanctuary. Come to the house of God. Uh, you don't have faith. You do not have faith. Where's the veil of your church? When Jesus died, the veil of the temple was written. That means anybody else going back behind that. Oh, Lord. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not preaching to preach. Well, that means you go to God for yourself. No, that don't mean that. That meant that's the end of the law. You know, the, the duties required in the temple from the priest taking your tithes and offering and all that kind of thing. Well, you'll see. That's what that meant. Hallelujah. You preach tithing and offering. Sabbath day circumcision, the first fruit, sacrifice, free will, wave, grain, heat, trespass, peace, thanksgiving. In an old offering, 
You're preaching them that. You say it's still required by God. You don't have faith. Thank you for being